Oh, hey there. Do you hear that? Oh, right. Your ears don't pick up ultrasonic transmissions. Seems like a distress signal. Let's investigate. And while we're at it, we'll learn some facts about the solar system. Follow me. Is it coming from the sun? The sun is over 30,000 times larger than the Earth. That's really, really big. Doesn't seem to be here. Signal's getting closer by Venus. Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system, with a surface temperature of over 450 degrees Celsius. But this ain't where the signal's coming from. Let's head over to Earth. Hmm. You know, it's because of the sun and moon's gravity that the ocean has high and low tides. Isn't that neat? The moon appears to have more craters and scars than Earth because it has a lot less natural activity going on. The Earth is constantly reforming its surface with earthquakes and storms and plants growing, but that ain't happening on the moon. Footprints and tire tracks left behind by astronauts on the moon will stay there forever as there is no wind to blow them away. The signal seems to be getting closer the further out we go. Oh, look, Halley's Comet. It's pretty far away. Halley's Comet was last seen in the inner solar system in 1986. The signal's getting stronger. We found it. It's this satellite. Why is it out here all by itself? Well, I'll just turn off that signal and reset its parameters. There, that should fix it. Thanks for helping me find this signal. I couldn't have done it without you. Bye-bye now. Greetings. I'm the Counting Wizard. I love to count. Look, a bunch of satellites orbiting the Earth. Wow! Can you help me count them? Count along with me. One, two, three, four, five. Five set of four. What? Uh, uh, uh. Now it is four satellites. Five minus one equals four. Who are you? What have you done? I'm minus the minus, and I love subtraction. I have subtracted one satellite and made four. Now I'll subtract another and make three. Stop! Now there are only three satellites. One, two, three! Ah, ah, ah. Good luck counting while I'm subtracting. Later, loser. Ah, ah, ah. What a thoroughly unpleasant person. A uh, robot thing. Um, no matter. I can bring those satellites back. Wouldn't want the internet to go down on the Earth. Like a bunch of metal kites? Bring back. The satellites! There. Five. Five satellites. One, two, three, four, five. And now it's time to find that Linus the Minus and give him a talking to. Farewell! Greetings! I'm the Counting Wizard. I love to count. I'm looking for that Linus the Minus. Have you seen him? No? Hmm. Me neither. I think he's around here somewhere. Oh look! A row of bicycles. Did you know there have been more than twice as many bikes made than cars? Wow! And right now, more than two Billion bicycles are in use around the world. Wow, that's so many. Well, there aren't two billion here, but let's count them anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six by you. Whoa! What? Ah, ah, ah. I'm minus the minus. And I love subtraction. I have subtracted one bicycle. Six minus one 
equals five. Linus the minus. I've been looking for you. You can't destroy anything you want because you love subtraction. Does not compute. Time for more subtraction. Five minus two equals three. Good luck counting while I'm subtracting. Ah, ah, ah. Later, loser. No, wait, you must listen. Drat! We must teach him that he can subtract things without blowing them up. <sighs> Let's fix the problem he made and bring back the bicycles. Having fun with trikes? Bring back the bikes! There, six. Six bicycles. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thanks for helping me count them. Now, to catch up with Linus the Minus. Farewell. Greetings. I'm the counting wizard. I love to count. Well, help me. Hang on, I've got you. Why, thanks, mister. I was floating all crazy. I couldn't stop. Hello there. Who are you? I'm the rover. Who are you? I'm the counting wizard. Do you like to count? I do. Do you want to count the planets? That sounds lovely. But first, we must stop them moving. Planets easy. You will freeze. Wow, the magic. One. One planet. This is Mercury, first planet from the sun. It's tidally locked, so one side's always hot and one side's always cold. Wow. One, two, two planets. This is Venus. It has an out of control greenhouse effect going on, so it's the hottest planet in our system. One, two, three planets. This is Earth. Hey, watch out for that moon. Good dodge. Thank you. This is where we live. One, two, three, four planets. This is Mars. It's got iron oxide in its soil, so it's all red. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. Five planets. Jupiter is the biggest planet in our system. Wow. And there's so many moons to count. One, two, three, four, five, six planets. That's right. This is Saturn. It has those rings. Aren't they beautiful? They sure are. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven planets. This is Uranus. It has a methane atmosphere. That's why it's blue. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight planets. This is Neptune, the last planet in our system. It's also a gas giant. Now that we're done counting, we will unfreeze the planets. Planets grooving, you get moving. Wow, look at them go. Now you can go too. Thanks for the booster rockets. Now I can go anywhere. I can see the whole galaxy. The whole galaxy. There's so much to count. I can count everything. I can count anything. Farewell. Greetings! I'm the Counting Wizard. I love to count. I'm looking for the rover. One rover. Do you see him anywhere? Hmm. Where could he be? Hey! Counting Wizard! Thanks for meeting me way out here. Indeed, my friend. What can I do for you? Well, 
Ever since you gave me booster rockets, I've been trying to find where I'm from. Yes? And while I recognize the solar system and Earth does feel a little familiar, I realize that I'm not from here. And you want me to help you find your home? Yeah, that's the long and short of it. Maybe if we explore each planet and learn about it, it will jog your memory banks. That's a great idea. Let's start with Mercury. Maybe I'm from there. Excellent. Instead of flying all the way, how about I just magic us there? Oh, that would save us lots of time. Thanks. Magic makes us perky. Portal us to Mercury. What can you tell me about this planet? Mercury is named for the Roman messenger to the gods. The exact date of Mercury's discovery is unknown, as it predates its first historical mention, one of the first mentions being by the Sumerians around 3000 BCE. Fascinating. What else? While Mercury is the smallest planet, it's also the second most dense. This is largely due to Mercury being composed of mainly heavy metals and rock. Well, that sure is unexpected with how tiny it is. What more can you tell us? Well, this is neat. Mercury has wrinkles. As the iron core of the planet cooled and contracted, the surface of the planet became wrinkled. Scientists have named these wrinkles lobate scarps. These scarps can be up to a mile high and hundreds of miles long. Scarps, eh? I hope my wrinkles never get that big. What else do you know about Mercury? Only two spacecraft have ever visited Mercury. Owing to its proximity to the sun, Mercury is difficult to visit. Without magic, that is. During 1974 and 1975, Mariner 10 flew by Mercury three times. During this time, it mapped just about half of the planet's surface. And on August 3rd, 2004, the messenger probe was launched from Cape Canaveral, making it the second craft to visit. Hmm, well, if only two crafts have ever been here, one, two, then this can't be my home. Sorry, Rover, we'll keep looking. That's okay, Captain Wizard. While Mercury is neat, it's not very hospitable, even for robots. Well then, back to space to find your place. Farewell. Bye-bye now. Hmm. Well, Rover, to find out where you're from, where should we go next? The next closest planet is Venus. That seems like the most logical choice. But due to the intense atmosphere, I suggest we magic there so we don't burn up on entry. Burn up? I don't want to do that. Magic it is. A joke can give us a snort. To Venus we must transport. Oh, it sure is warm. That's because Venus is the hottest planet in our system. Well, Magic will keep us safe for now. What can you tell me about Venus? Venus rotates on its axis very slowly. It takes 243 Earth days for one Venus day. That's quite a long time. Also, Venus rotates in the opposite direction to the Earth. It's possible that an asteroid collided with Venus, causing it to rotate in that direction. Whoa, that must have been a big asteroid. Venus and Earth are often called sister planets, as they are very similar in size. So similar, in fact, as they are only 638 kilometers difference in their diameter. 638 kilometers? That's so very close to the same size. Rover, have any other spacecraft been to Venus? Well, the Russians sent the first mission to Venus. The Venera 1 space probe was launched in 1961 but it lost contact with its base. The United States also lost their first Venus probe, Mariner 1, but Mariner 2 was able to take measurements of Venus in 1962. And, um, well, the Soviet Union also has the first man-made craft to land on Venus, Venera 3, back in 1966. 
Oh, so once again, yeah, it would seem I am not from Venus. Bummer. But it is very hot. True. I do seem to enjoy a milder climate. Oh well, let's go to Earth. Subscribe for daily learning.